All right, what up, guys? It's your girl Beta Beaks, and I am back with more Fringe. Listen, the first episode got me. Not to mention, it was almost a movie. I wasn't ready for that. Okay, I was like, yeah, I'm sitting here minding my business, but the show is still going. It was almost a two-hour movie. Like we're still here. Don't get me wrong, I'm entertained, but we're still here. So if you're enjoying this reaction series, you're going to on my channel. Go ahead, subscribe. I'm here. You're here. Let's be here together. Down below in the description box, be on my Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Meek. So if they're fully encouraged my reaction, so it's clear. And select the access series. And also, merch shop with teachers. I see these most outside of things with original designs. I'm still support monetarily. Those two options on my Patreon. I got my merch shop. If you can support monetarily, support monetarily. How you may subscribe. Why? Biatch. It's free. Cost zero dollars subscription button and location button. You know, if I'm it's free. And also, the gaming channel, which I'm going through God of War 3 and Final Fantasy 16 for the very first time. Interesting. That's going to be on Manny Meek's gaming. And listen. Um, so. Oh, dang, I had a whole full cold pop here. Didn't even take a sip out of it. Sadness. Sadness. Um, so what happened? I don't remember the lady's name. Is it in here? Hold on. No, it's not in here. Dang. Um, oh, gosh, I can't remember her name. But we met her and her partner, who's or her boss, her partner boss is her love interest. And they got called out to a situation on a plane where the situation on the plane was real juicy. This dude stabbed himself with an EpiPen and then immediately melted and splooshed all over everybody and was affecting everybody, it was giving everybody the ick. And the whole entire plane, which had autopilot, was laid down right to rest where it was supposed to be. But since everybody on the board had the ick ick, uh, they called them out to investigate the situation. And as they were investigating the situation, they discovered who kind of was involved in it. And on the way to like search for stuff, her and her partner was involved in an explosion of the labs where it had all the, uh, the chemicals for testing on these animals to make this virus type thing that kind of just melts your skin off. And uh, she got wrapped up in trying to figure out how to save her baby boo and solve what was going on while working on this new team. And she had to get a doctor out of, uh, psychiatric care who was the last person to work with certain things that they found when they investigated the uh her partner's body because by the way he's still alive he's just translucent and juicy everybody's juicy and so pacey was there and pacey had to go get his dad out and pacey also helped because you know he's smart and his dad is smart. And so they all work together to find this cure for this man. And they were like, yes, we did it. We figured out who did it. We figured out how to help the guy. And everything's all peachy keen until uh, she started putting pieces of the puzzle together that she heard the other side of the conversation when they found some tapes that her man was involved in this whole entire situation. So she had a shake, like a little shooting and a chase. And then he got blowed up. And then he's going to get revived. That's, that's all I remember. That's all I remember. It's really weird. But that's all I remember. So... She joined this new team and she has to be on this team to be involved in these, what do they call them? Not puzzles. Oh, what do they call them? Oh, it was something really specific that they called them. I cannot remember, but they're gonna mention it and I'm gonna be like that. Um, so in order to continue to investigate and to be involved in this whole entire situation, she has to join this team. And the team is probably her, Pacey, his dad, the lady who was helping at the lab and the cow because there's a cow so on that note let's go ahead and jump into season one episode two of fringe the same old story <laughs> those letters be getting me every single time i will never stop laughing at these letters what's her name bridget whoever you're thinking about bridget your girlfriend or whatever I don't have a girlfriend. Oh. Yeah? What's in the bag? These nuts. So I could really go for a mushroom pizza. A mushroom pizza. Mushroom pizza. Awesome. Why are you talking? What is y'all doing? My name isn't Amber, by the way. Obviously. Sir? Bug. Sir? You wanna know my real name or what? No. <laughs> you thought you was going in there with him? You're gonna be fine. Take a deep breath. Stop, How many stop. months are you? How many months? What? I'm pregnant. I'm not, not pregnant. Hold her down. You're gonna have to strap her in. Oh, you gotta cut this off. Girl, who? There's always time for anesthetics. 
You better knock me the fuck out, bitch. Ain't nobody's mouth covered or nothing. Like your whole mouth is open. Her mouth is open. Your mouth is open. Its mouth is open. Like everybody's mouth is open. Why is everything so juicy? Oh, the word to use himself with a 190 IQ. What were you thinking when you recruited Olivia Dunham? An FBI agent who had an illicit affair with her partner. That doesn't matter. Who turned out to be a traitor. That does matter. Must surely be worthy of our trust. Not case unsolved. Nicely done. Peter Bishop, I'm Philip Broyles, Department of Homeland Security. Thank you for agreeing to- He looks like an evil man. I love it. I've never seen a feature like this before. It warms your head. <laughs> have you tried it? Yes, I have. Scientific in nature and suggests a larger strategy, a coordinated effort. It's been- That's what it is. I'm like the puzzle. The pieces. I need you to come with me. Walter. Do you see what I'm doing here? Hey, relax. I can't figure this out with a girl buzzing in my ear. I'm trying to prove these people. You got a whole other person. This happened, how he happened to her, I'm working. Come on, Olivia. I can do this. My limited stint at MIT did teach me something. Oh, you could have taken uh, uh, Angel Chick, Angel Applegate, whatever her name is, starts with A. Find whatever I missed. Okay, then tell me. How'd the killer do it? Oh my god, that's funny. They got jokes. <laughs> Pull their mouths open up to their eyes. Oh, okay, that's enough. You can stop. They go through now. their nasal cavity and remove a piece of their brain. And all of this connects to magic old man baby in the- <laughs> I don't know. But there's a connection somewhere. <laughs> she said a magic old man baby. So if that's our sample, then I'm telling you this is our guy. Which... Means he's gonna kill again. So what did they do to him to make him put the babies? Because clearly it's gotta be his spermatization. Stacy's about to be dead or pregnant. I'll get you the case files. <laughs> Did he finish whatever he was trying to do? Like, I don't understand what he was trying to do. A hotel. Wow. <laughs> Look at this place. Ma'am. Those windows have a really great view of the bridge. Oh, really? Let me go take a look. In a book. I care about the bridge. A reading rainbow. Girl, I care about this dude. But I just want to know, like, what's the purpose? I'm already enjoying the hell out of this show. It is a neat view of the bridge. Oh, I hate knee dolls. Oh. Okay, thank you. I don't, listen, I don't do that. Y'all know I don't do that. I'm waiting for you, and I'm doing her a favor. We were supposed to be doing extensive testing. Our 80-year-old man, baby. <laughs> Bring anything mechanical back from the dead. Bruh. Look at the paper, Department of Police, just out in the open. <laughs> She's always frowning. Not the car sounding like a gun. Dr. Walter Bishop. Yes, Dr. Bishop, we've met. I'm junior agent Astrid. Thank you, Astrid. 
Catch me out here looking at this. Mm -mm. A TV screen. Bro, okay. I mean, go off, sis. You've been so together with everything that's going on, I was starting to develop an inferiority complex. <laughs> Her little baby face. Piece of equipment. It's a laser optic hardware. Very crazy and very, very hard to find. Mm -hmm. Turns out, only one company has the patent. The government who? Sorry for the delay. Oh. The very last time you were intimate. Were you safe? Bruh. Not were you safe. <laughs> That's clearly not real. It's okay. We're fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Miss Sharp will see you now. That's clearly, you know, that's not. Yeah. I've got the same vehicle eight hours later. That's the estimated time of death of our last victim. If you get anything more specific, call me. You got it. It worked, Peter. See that? It worked. Mm, he's like, bitch, I'm smart. I did it. We go. So, nothing borrow Belmont. Hold on. Did you say borrow? Did we pass borrow already? There's two cars. Stay there. Nah. That's just not gonna happen. They should have given him a beat stick. Like she got a gun and you got a beat stick. Y'all making a lot of noise. All I hear is pat it, 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 Mayhaps. Did he eat the thing or he didn't eat the thing? She's still. Uh oh. 200 volts. The way he is chewing on this popcorn. So just sit down and be old. Just sit down and be old. It's okay. Sit down and be old. What's she gonna do? Take you in so you can die? Or... Get out of here. Come on. I'd have been like. That was his mistake. But he was blinded because he loved me. He loved me. Go ahead and show me the face. You should be bones right now. Yeah, a little crunchy. Mm hmm. Old. A little saggy. So when they die, he just stops aging? Well, it makes sense, but. I would assume he keeps going to dust. Wanted to make a difference. So consider this. Massive Dynamic is one of the 10 largest economic entities in the world. That is so cool. If you've read my file, then you know the truth about Peter's medical history. What? What are we talking about? In meaning to ask you to- Walter. To what? I didn't read the file. What's the file? What's on the file? There's no mention of any medical history. Just his birthday. What's going on? Oh, okay, well, never mind. No. I ask you to keep it between just the two of us. But, uh, what? Because then there's no need. I want to know. You can't start off something like that and then don't tell me. I'd be like, but Walter, I can't keep it between the two of us, and I'm gonna need you to tell me. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need the one to tell the two, so I can keep it between the two of us. Thirty-four, fifty-five. Hey, Walter. What's he counting by? What? You awake, Peter? 
Row, row, row your boat. You think you could do that in your head? Wasn't I? <laughs> Hit him with the row, row, row your boat. That's okay. I'd be like, row, row. Try and keep up. Right? Come on. Give it to your dad. Three. Three. Seven. Seven. Is he counting pi? 21. What is he doing? Six. Merrily, 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 merrily. Son? Nope, that's not you. Me. Yes, Walter, it's me. Stop talking. And let me sing Row, Row, Row Your Boat. Row, row, row your boat. Gently down the... Look at that. Look at this man. Come on. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Girl, what? Why you show me that? Just the end? Listen. This show is for me. I don't know why this show is for me. It's giving me a puzzle. It's giving me information. You know what I'm saying? It's giving me things to solve and to figure out, to try it and guess, or to guess before the people will tell me what it is. I like it. I like it. I like every single character. I'm going to remember these people, but not right now. This is only episode two. So Pacey is going to be Pacey. <laughs> But my goodness, I am enjoying this. I'm just wondering what the medical history is with Pacey. Um, and like, what, what do they, how, because I mean, Scott made a point, like how did they come by wanting her, working with her and being like, she's okay to go ahead and do all of this stuff, even prior to them figuring out about what Scott was doing, you know what I'm saying? And if this lady was trying to get me to leave my job, she should have put her, her money on the table. If anybody were ever come up to me like, oh my gosh, you should work here. This is so great. Our company would love someone like you. You're innovative. You're blah, 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 blah. And I'd be like, okay, you're telling me all about this position. That is so great. What is the budget for this position? Okay. What is the salary you're offering for this position? Because I ain't going nowhere unless I'm going somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So. That's just me. But I'm enjoying this so much. I am so entertained. It's just so weird seeing how everything was. They had paper police files. Child, paper, I wish somebody would hand me some files that are on paper. I remember once somebody was like, oh, well, I just thought that you could just go ahead and look up the information for me. I was like, uh, no, it's all digitized. It's in a database. Oh, so you can't just, it's on a Saturday afternoon at like 4 p.m. and they wanted me to go figure out an old case and try to find the information for it. I was like, girl, bye. it is a Saturday. Programming is not in. So you can't just walk into the room and look at the papers. Girl, what papers? Welcome to the 21st century, honey. We don't do papers no more. It's digital, digitized. And anything that is on paper, you need to go find yourself. Have a blessed evening. Get out of my face. <laughs> Maybe trying to get you to do the most. But it's been a while since I've seen some paper stuff and it's really funny. It's really funny. So. On that note, guys, thanks for hanging with me. Hopefully, I will catch you in the next one. Bye.